Hey you guys, what's up and welcome to a new video at this channel and it's been a long time, I know. In this video I just wanna show you and make sure that you're not getting banned for 6.2 because you don't know how to code a uh, spawn point protection. That's what I'm showing today, how to code a spawn point protection to make sure that you follow the rules. So. Well, it's not that difficult, it's very very simple, it's literally like 4 blocks of code or 3 if you want. Otherwise uh, you can add more, for example, having saying that you really don't want kind of um, messages. You will say someone here, you can't pvp or something. So basically what you're gonna do is placing a play event. Oops, that was too fast, alright. So we click on that and then we say combat. And then we say literally uh, damage player event. That means if a player damage a player, then the code will run. They will be executed. Then we say literally if player, we click on that and then choose um, blocks and environmental and choose is near location in the player actions. I mean literally yes, if player. So basically what I'm gonna do is now we need a location and we need a number, which means it's gonna take the radius the of the um the location so what we're gonna do is clicking on the variables on the location re right click to get spawn in the um actual game here and then there we'll be staying we're getting teleported as the um spawn point so we just literally right click simple and then right click away going here and paste it and the number we're gonna choose um, is 5, it depends uh, how big is your and how small is your location, but I always recommend to do at least 3 radios, so players have like distance. So what we need next is gonna do is just put in a game action, right click, literally click on that, and then code your T and say cancel event. So there we are finished now, if you have a message you can put another message, click on that, say communication, send message, so you have to sneak and then click on that and you say play selection and then you say literally the damager is getting the message, we go to the variables, to our text and we say literally, for example, hey which is this one, this one, you are not allowed to PvP in this area. So probably seen sometimes very much. Uh, this is gonna do this here. New location has been set, so that's the code actually. So we have, we are done. So we go to play damage, if it's new location, cancel event. And then send message is optional. If you want to tell a player that there is PvP is not allowed in this area or in the spawn point, you go to slash run or slash play. And now I will say So now if you slain him, you get this. You are not allowed to PV in this area. So that means hit me. He can do his all well. So you are not allowed to hit in this area flowing here. And if you are here, you can fight. So that's we that's how we do spawn protections. If you have any questions, please write uh, down below in the comment section. So I maybe help you on something if you need help. I don't know. Or just simply message me in, in this game here. Basically, um, that's it with the basic um, coding for newbies. If you don't know how to code up spawn protection to make sure that you follow the rules. And yes, guys. I hope this helped you a lot and um, I hope you're not getting banned from that. So I've literally seen many players getting banned. So therefore, subscribe to this channel, like this video and uh, activate the notification bell so you won't miss any video in the future. So yeah, that's that's it. You'll probably see you now and um, the next episode is probably how to code a teleportation command. But this will be followed as soon as possible, so it's a simple code to make sure you follow the roots. See ya!